hi welcome to my tutorial for today so today we shall be looking at cutting and sewing of peplon princess bustier top so first of all we fold our fabric into two and the measurement we'll be needing is our shoulder measurement our armhole measurement our bust measurement our half length waist and the blouse length so first we take our half length measurement which is 17 plus one inch for joining we are cutting the back first before the front so we mark out two inches here for our zipper Two inch here, yeah. where our zip will be inserted. So from here, we take our measurement, and our shoulder measurement is sixteen divided by two. We give us eight. So we mark it here. And mark our shoulder slope, which is three. Then I will take our armhole measurement, which is 18, divide by two. We give us nine inch plus one each for shoulder slope. We mark our one inch. So we connect our line from the shoulder to the armhole. Then from that one inch, I'm going to slide it like this to that shoulder slope. Then here, we take our bust measurement. Now bust measurement is 41 divide by 4 you know this initially this was supposed to fold that it was supposed to be folded into 4 but since we are cutting a princess bust here we fold it into 2 but we are still going to divide by 4 so our measurement is 41 divide by 4 we give us 10.25 10.25 it's somewhere here 10.25 it's somewhere here hope you can see it before the 10.5 so from there we mark uh, 2 inches for seam allowance Then here we mark our waist measurement, which is 38 divided by 4. We give us 9.5. 9.5. Then we add 1 inch for that. Then we mark our 2 inches for allowance. So we connect the the line the easy way to curve our armhole since we don't have our armhole meter rule you just check for the half.
half of it, which is 4.5 here. Then you carefully curve it to meet So now we cut it out. Sorry, we have to take our neck measurement. So we mark four and a half. It depends how you want the volume of your neck to be. So this one I'm marking four and a half, and here depends on how you want the wideness of your back to be. So here I'm marking eight. I'll carefully curve it. So this is our back. So for the front, we will also take our half length measurement, which is 17 plus 1, which is 18. Remember the one is for the folding. Then we take our shoulder measurement. We take our measurement from the folded side. Which is eight. And four inch down. For our ample. We also mark one inch for shoulder slope, and here we mark three. Then we connect our shoulder slope line. Then here. From shoulder to our nipple is 12. So we add half inch. And that half inch is for joining. So from that 12 and a half, we also mark our three and a half for the up. I also mark three and a half for the down. Our uh, nipple to nipple measurement is 8. Divide by 2 will give us 4. So here we mark, uh, we take our 4 inches, but we add our joining, where will be the allowance that we use in joining the both sides to the middle one. So if you are using half inch, you take 4 and half. If you are using quarter inch to so, you take 4 and quarter. So me, I will be taking 4 and quarter. 
So I'll mark this four and quarter. So I will connect the armhole measurement to the first line. Then I will join the line down to my half length. Then I cut out I'll fold here again into two. I'll notch out this these lines. And I'll now place it. Remember, I folded this into two. So I'll get the two sides. And sketch here out. I'll sketch it like this. Then trace that place that I notched out and mark. So from here, I'll take my armhole measurement. Measure my bust measurement. Remember all your measurements start from here, from this place, this folded place. Our boss is 41 divided by 4. We give us 10.5. We give us 10.25. Sorry. 10.25. Then we add one and a half inch here for ease. Then here we measure our waist. Which is nine point five. 
38, that is equal for 9.5 plus 2 and a half inches. For our seam allowance. So from here we connect Then we trace this one, the middle point, the middle point that we mark from here, we mark our two and a half inches. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Then you cut out. At the end of the joining, we will have something like this. And join this one, this side. So our front and back is complete. So now we proceed on cutting our our peplon. Well, first, we fold our peplon into four. Then our waist is thirty-eight divided by four, which is nine point And the length of our peplon is 10. So from here, we mark our 10 inches.
Now we cut it out. We open it up and slant one side. So now for our sleeve, is, our length is twelve, is eleven point five. So we have we add half inch for folding. I have half, half inch for joining because I want the I want my sleeve to be penciled and at the end here I will also add it a buff hand a buff band here. And our round sleeve is twelve divided by two will give us six plus two inches allowance, making it eight. So we connect. I've cut out our sleeve, so I will then use it to cut the second hand. So here is the hand. So now I will use all these bodies to cut out the lining that I will use in lining them and also cut out my wooden that I will use in padding the front. So now as you can see I have cut out my lining. And also cut out my wooden that I will use in padding the front. So I'll use my iron to gun them together. So I'll quickly go to my machine now and line them up and also join the two fr the fronts also join the two side to the middle now i finished lining up my fabric as you can see this is the peplum the back and the sleeve I also cut out a straight fabric. I just gathered here and fold here with one inch. Here I'll be inserting my elastic. 
So I'll go to my machine and join here the gathered place to the to the down part of my sleeve like this and close it up then I also join this one the front lining so I'll just use it and turn the front up like this I'll sew up here the neck, then the both side, and now turn it up like this. Then after that, I'll join the back. I'll join the back. before the peplum after joining the back to the front I will join this I will attach this peplum here at the down part then join my sleeve before inserting my zip so that will be all so now I'll finish joining all the bodies as you can see this is the buff hand. So I'll just quickly try it on so we can see the fittings. And our blouse comes out very beautiful. Thank you for watching till the end. And if you are yet to subscribe, please touch on the red icon to subscribe. It's totally free. And also touch on the notification bell and select all to be the first to be notified whenever we upload a new video. See you in my next tutorial. Bye!